flying. I love her wings, and we actually talked a lot with the effects on her wing personality, and I work with the, those who do the wings to make sure that they're in sync with her character, actually, whether or not the wings are sad or aggressive. <gasps> Making them fly, it's always a little bit tricky uh, to make that feel real, because they are not really flying. <laughs> We did it with a combination of different things, tuning forks and then real practical, you know, flying with cables. The tuning fork, basically two prongs, they fit either side of your body and you can twist someone backwards or forwards or side to side. To use the rig, um, the, the funny thing about it is you're clamped into it like you become a piece of the machine itself and your body is dictating whether you're turning left or right. You have to work with others with your movement. So when you finish your line and then you leave with the you know, flourish, you can't leave if your thing's not leaving. And so you yeah. get kind of stuck. Shuta and I had moments where it was like, and then that. <clears throat> Going. It will never happen. The look of the film and the design of the film is this beautifully artistic work in its own right, but also allows for this very beautiful, freeing kind of light experience that you can have watching the film. You're always using your imagination to some extent, you know, um, and you just have to fly with that. The great thing is, is that you know whoever is doing the visual effects is the very best in the business, you know, and it's yeah. going to look spectacular. It just, it's just a little crazy. When it works and they're in sync, it just feels, uh, it, it is fun.